to the airport. We're here. Our flight is at 8.16 Atlanta time. It is 6.19, so we are here almost two hours early. Very good. That is good. <laughs> it just left me hanging. That's fine. They stole my peanut butter though. I'm really upset about my peanut butter. I'm gonna go find you some food. here to the hotel because he's watching his video on his iPad. We made it to the airport, got an Uber, drove here to the hotel. Check-ins don't start till, until 1. I was hoping I could actually check in to the hotel room a little bit earlier. I don't think check-in is actually till 4 o'clock for us, but I have been sweating all day and my tan is actually at 2 o'clock, so I'm really nervous that the tan is not going to turn out well because I'm not going to be able to check into my hotel and like shower and exfoliate again. So I don't know, but I'm here I'm just waiting in line for check-ins to start and hopefully we'll get that going soon and I don't know, maybe by chance they'll have the room ready for me. I did give him my phone number to let us know, but it's probably not going to happen, so oh, we'll see. But I will check in with y'all in a little bit. Finally made it into our hotel room. Say hey codes. And finally got my meals. I had Icon meals shipped to the hotel, so we just went and picked those up. So it's been a long day. I have done check-ins. I am number 353, is that what my number is? Mm -hmm. Did check-ins, got my number, got my little bag, so I'm good to go. I went ahead and got my tan, so we are looking toasty right now. And got my tan, and then I already met with Kenny. We did like a, like a 10, 15 minute little posing tweak. Fixed some of my poses here and there, and I'm about to eat one of my other meals. I've got some beef and some cauliflower rice. And I have still a whole bunch of food that I've got to eat for the rest of the day. We still gotta go to the grocery store, but it is pouring outside, of course. Ew, look at these gross hands. Ew. So, and Cody's is starving, poor thing. He hasn't eaten like real food since breakfast this morning. So we gotta go find him some food as well. And it is almost four o'clock, so. I'm hungry. I know, we're gonna go get you some food. We have been go, go, go. Cody's over there taking a little nap. But we have literally been go, go, go earlier. We finally got an Uber and went to Trader Joe's. That was like a one and a half hour ordeal. Traffic was horrible, it was raining, and we accidentally typed in the wrong address, so we kind of went on an unexpected detour. So either way, we made it to Trader Joe's. We got what I needed from the store, and I got back to the hotel because it's been a while since I've had any water or a meal because um, I have a lot of carbs to eat for today. So what I've been doing is, so I finally got my Icon meals, which I showed earlier, and so I went downstairs to the community microwaves and heated up all the meals in bulk. And so what I've been doing is I just divided them up into my meals for show day. So I have a couple of my meals laid out right here um, from, I got the white potatoes, I've got some steak, I've got some roasted turkey, I've got some green beans, and then just some plain white rice. So I've just kind of went ahead and measured out everything in here and salted everything that needed to be properly salted. I am so full. I just ate a really big meal and I drank a whole bottle of water because I have a lot of water to catch up on. Technically, I'm supposed to have like a small, short, full body circuit workout and it's supposed to be 30 minutes of cardio today, but it's already almost 7 o'clock and we have just been go, 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 non-stop. So I'm still going to try to squeeze in like 30 minutes of cardio. I'm probably not going to get around to the workout though because I don't want to get too sweaty and obviously mess up my tan. Um, but I also have got to finish eating. I still have like at least 50 grams of carbs left. I need to get to bed at a decent time because we have a early, a bright and early packed day tomorrow because tomorrow is show day. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going to relax for a little bit because I've literally been on my feet all day and have not relaxed this entire day and kind of just get like an itinerary going um, and a timeline of tomorrow. And yeah. I know it's really funny. We're actually watching Jersey Shore in New Jersey. <laughs> it's funny. So Cody's still sleeping, so I'm gonna try to talk 
really low. Hopefully you can hear me over the TV. But I just got done doing my 30 minutes of cardio. I just went ahead and did 30 minutes of the treadmill. The gym here at this gym is so big and it's so good. But I have one meal to eat and I have two rice cakes just to kind of top off my macros. So I'm going to be having just two ounces of this Icon Mill steak. And then I'm going to be having 150 grams of white rice and then two and then two caramel rice cakes. And that's going to top off my last meal of the night. I'm also going to be drinking my Opti Greens because I forgot to drink it earlier. Just being out in my routine and all the traveling and everything just really kind of messed up my just everyday kind of routine. I did take all my vitamins there. So, um, but I'm going to sip on this as well. I'm going to eat my food and then I'm probably going to just go ahead and start organizing for show day tomorrow. Kind of get my time line going and get everything out that I need to make sure that I am on point because I'm a very structured person and organized person and show day is just always so boom 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 and so crazy um, so I'm just gonna make sure to have all that put together but I'll probably check in with y'all before I actually wind down for the night and I'll probably close out this video until show day is here so I'm just about to take my core 21 because I am getting ready for bed and I want to have a good night's sleep so I'm about to take my dose of that and I've just kind of been writing down an itinerary list for show day just to kind of keep everything in track because I have a lot of time lines and deadlines to meet tomorrow and I want to make sure that I'm keeping it all organized so I'm just getting one started right now. Codes is awake from his five hour nap. <laughs> well deserved five hour nap. <laughs> yes, definitely because me and him did not sleep at all last night and we've been up since 2 a.m. So I, myself, are going to get ready for bed. I'm about to brush my teeth and wash my face. I have to, as you may have saw my itinerary, but I have to get my second coat of tan tomorrow. And I'm also getting my makeup done for the first time ever. I've never had my makeup done for anything, I don't think. So I'm actually kind of nervous about that. But I am actually going to be doing my hair. So um, i got to wake up early, do check-ins, um, go to the athletes meeting. Uh, make my meals and just get ready for show day. It still hasn't really hit me that I'm competing tomorrow. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Today's just been really busy. <laughs> That's just how competition weekends run anyways, but I'm going to get ready for bed because I did not sleep at all last night and so I want to get a really great night's rest and my body looks well rested and pumped up and looking good for show day. So um, thank you for following us along. And I'll see y'all on show day. Good morning, Codes. Happy birthday. We are headed to the competitors meeting. Okay, wow, that was a huge ordeal. Tanning was running behind an hour. I got there 10 minutes before my tanning appointment at 7.45. I didn't get called in until 8.45. I got my second coat of tan, and makeup is also running behind. My makeup appointment's at 9.30, but she's about an hour behind, so now I'm gonna come up here and have Cody help me wash my hair really quick because I thought I wasn't gonna have time to wash my hair before getting my makeup done, so luckily I can do that. So we're about to attempt to wash my hair and not mess up my tan, and then I'm gonna head downstairs to get my makeup done, and then I'm just gonna be waiting around for prejudging to start. I probably won't go on till about probably 11 or 12, so almost time, guys. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention there are over 300 bikini competitors here. Over 300. Wow. Perfect. Yeah, so
374 and 304 switch places please. Oh, other way. Yeah. Alright, thank you ladies. You can follow off to your left. Next is our bikini open B. You have seen a lot of these ladies previously. This is a very large and very competitive A class today. 353, Kelsey Douglas. Alright, Kels. 354, Shanna Asencio. Right, Shanna. 355, Rachel Bork. 356, Allison O'Donnell. 357, Annie Garcia. And on, please take fifth place too. Number 399, Jennifer St. Peter. Yeah, Jen! In fourth tonight. Number 358, Stephanie Tataris. Third place goes to 368, Yesenia Silva. And in the open division, the top two receive IMB Pro status. So in second place, and a new IMB Pro, 393, Alexa Torre. And your opening champion and new pro, 372, Stephanie Rionda. Congratulations. John, let's raise their hands in victory, please. Ladies, grab hands and raise them up. A little closer together. Arms down, come close together. Arms around each other's back. Thank you. 